Mimi. Mimi. My name is uh, Alicia Curlin. I'm an artist. Uh, these are my road runners. Um, the title of the show at the Government Center is called um, Road Runners That Won't Run Far. And this whole thing started with a swap meet conversation that I had here at a Vegas swap meet. Um, a man had this really fabulous, not a booth, set up. And I noticed he had a um, Roadrunner doorstop <laughs> sitting on top of a cutting board. And I thought it was funny that why would you make, why would you make a Roadrunner uh, doorstop? It's a bird built for speed. It's, you know, a doorstop is something that physically stops motion. And we were laughing about it and this guy who's from Montana and he had a big cowboy hat on, very Western style, said, well, that's a roadrunner that won't run far. And for some reason that stuck in my head. And I was just supposed to be out west for a short time for a job and I ended up liking Vegas so much that I stayed. Started collecting um, roadrunner figurines. Um, they're somewhat of an icon of the American Southwest. My main interaction and, and most people's interaction with roadrunners are from, you know, the roadrunner. Meep, meep. Wiley Coyote, Looney Tunes, Beep Beep. Um, and, and that's when I thought it would be, become interesting, it would relate to my work. The, the Roadrunner of Wile E. Coyote is the unattainable treat. And this is carrot right here, this is carrot on a stick. Um, so the Wile E. Coyote is like this really ambitious <laughs> character who tries to come, with, come up with all these creative uh, engineered plans to kill and eat the Roadrunner. And it's not mean, he's just hungry. Um, and I can sort of relate that to my artistic practice. It's not like you ever reach um, a specific goal with art. There's a million different ways to get to a million different answers. So it's sort of an endless loop. Um, and I had made a bunch of paintings about carrots on a stick. And I was like, well, that's the Roadrunner, definitely in the cartoon. I thought about, okay, I'm gonna do public sculpture. I've never made proper public sculpture before. It's a really great opportunity. Um, I want to make it big. But there's nothing you can do to really conquer this space. So I knew I didn't want the birds to be grocery store ride size. I knew I didn't want them to be uh, natural size or natural color. Um, and I didn't want them to be mountable by uh, visitors <laughs> to knock them down or something. So the scale became about um, making people think about their own size. It's carrot on the stick. And a lot of times when you see sculpture, it's like a very common problem. If you want to make a human, for example, a standing human, there's usually uh, some sort of abstract form propping up their legs, um, like a stump or a little blob. So this was a great opportunity to make the stick um, and it worked out that it was carrot on a stick. They're all made out of stucco, uh, which is what you see out here uh, in Vegas. Uh, same, same type of material. Um, it's basically a glorified paper mache. The pink flamingo. I call it flamingo. He's also been referenced to as the dandy. Um, and I, I was thinking a lot about public sculpture and how that relates to yard art, which you see a lot of. Um, out here in Vegas um, and my studio now is in a big backyard. I made these in a yard. I didn't make them in a warehouse studio that I had in Brooklyn where I used to live. So, We also have Silver State which is a super duper shiny silver uh, chrome color and this was supposed to be the futurist bird. Um, this bird just um, maybe it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, the title of the show is Roadrunners that won't run far. One of the legs gave out on Silver State. And um, very dramatic style. I was like, I'm only gonna have two birds. These are too heavy. Um, the leg is broken, there's no hope. But just like Coyote, I you know, went right back to it. Um, it's my favorite sculpture now. I wanted him to be like the most uh, shiny and regal and beautiful that I can make him be. And that's a pure aluminum concentrate on that surface. Um, and then the other one, that's a stucco, originally called Urban Sprawl. I tried to make the most boring gray, yellow, brown color that I could possibly make. And I drove around Vegas looking at all the stucco boxes um, and all the Urban Sprawl to try to find the right color. 
The anvil um, was a way for me to tie in the, the Wiley e. Coyote Roadrunner, the Looney Tunes Roadrunner, um, and also acknowledge this crazy ceiling that this place has. And the show is up June 2nd through July 25th. Um, it's open 8 to 5 p.m. You can come check it out anytime. Come see them before they come down. And if anybody knows where uh, these things could live in the future, let me know because I don't know if uh, my landlord would love these things sitting in the backyard permanently. <laughs> <laughs>